A man-to-man wargame also known as a skirmish wargame is a wargame in which units generally represent single individuals or weapons systems, and are rated not only on weaponry but may also be rated on such facets as morale, perception, skill at arms, etc. The game is designed so that a knowledge of military tactics, especially at the small unit or squad level, will facilitate successful gameplay. Man-to-man wargames offer an extreme challenge to the designer, as fewer variables or characteristics inherent in the units being simulated are directly quantifiable. Modern commercial board wargaming stayed away from man-to-man -man subjects for many years, though once the initial attempts were made to address the subject, it has evolved into a popular topic among wargamers. Man-to-man -man wargames have been a popular pastime for PC and console gamers, though true. Man-to-man -man combat simulators are much more rare than action-adventure-oriented first-person shooters which can probably be excluded from the topic of man-to-man wargames. Early role-playing games were derived from skirmish wargames, and many are still played as such. Many early designs for man-to-man -man games had cumbersome pre-plotting of moves, others used a system of multiple maps and umpires to try and create «fog of war» or uncertainty for players. Modeling conflict at this scale provides unique challenges to the game designer, who must find a way to quantify variables such as human behavior at an individual level. Games at higher grand strategic, strategic, operational or tactical levels can arguably have their variables more easily quantified. Topic list of war games below is a list of man-to-man -man war games in the order in which they were introduced. Western Gunfight Wargame Rules First Ed. Steve Curtis, Ian Colwell, Mike Blake, 1970. Western Gunfight Wargame Rules Second Ed. Steve Curtis, Ian Colwell, Mike Blake, 1971. Colonial Skirmish Wargames Rules C 1850-1900. Mike Blake, Steve Curtis, Ian Colwell, Ted Herbert, 1972. Sniper, SPI, 1973. Old West Skirmish Rules 1816 to 1900. Skirmish Wargames. Ian Colwell. Will, Mike Blake, 1974. Skirmish Wargaming. Donald Featherstone, 1975. Old West Skirmish Rules, 1816 to 1900. U.S. Ed. Lou Zoki, Skirmish Wargames. Ian Colwell, Mike Blake, 1975. Old West Skirmish Rules, 1816 to 1900. Parts 1 and 2. Revised Ed. Skirmish Wargames. Ian Colwell, Mike Blake, 1978. Once Upon a Time in the West. Rules for Gunfight Wargames. Ian S. Beck and John D. Spencer. 1978 Flintlock and Ramrod 1700 to 1850 Skirmish Wargames Rules Skirmish Wargames Ian Colwell Mike Blake 1980 20th Century Skirmish Wargames Rules Volume 1 Rules Volume 2 Supplement Volume 3 Tables and Charts Skirmish Wargames Colwell Granger and Swan 1981 Hetzer TSR Inc 1988 Special Forces TSR Inc 1988 Does Not Equal Patrol SPI 1973 3 City Fight SPI 1979 Trenchfoot Game Designers Workshop 1981 Cry Havoc Standard Games 1981 Siege Standard Games 1983 Ultramar Standard Games 1985 Viking Raiders Standard Games 1987 Samurai Blades Standard Games 1984 Dark Blades Standard Games 1986 Dragon Noir 2 The Challenge Euro Games 1993 Upfront Avalon Hill 1983 Bonsai Avalon Hill 1984 Desert War Avalon Hill 1985 Gunslinger Avalon Hill 1983 Close Assault Yaquinto 1983 Ambush Victory Games 1983 Move Out Ambush Module Victory Games 1984 Purple Heart Ambush Module Victory Games 1985 Silver Star Ambush Module Victory Games 1987 Firepower Avalon Hill 1984 Battle Cry 3 W 1986 Battle Hymn Victory Games 1986 Leatherneck Battle Hymn Module Victory Games 1988 Platoon Avalon Hill 1986 Soldiers West End 1987 Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader Games Workshop 1987 Iron Cross Strategy and Tactics Magazine 1990 Shell Shock Victory Games 1990 Special Forces Dan Versen Games 2005 A Vassal Only Card Game also available as a .pdf download
Song of Blades and Heroes, Ganesha Games, 2007; Whack and Slaughter, Katzai's Entertainment, 2010; Dead Zone, 2012; Skirmish Tactics Apocalypse, 2013. Some of these games represent further development of earlier titles. For example, Firepower is a modern set version of Close Assault, which is set in World War II, both from the same designer. Ambush is an innovative solitaire game based on a system of paragraph readings and a sleeve and card system that reveals data about the game environment as the player navigates his soldiers over the map. Set in the European theater of operations in WW2, it spawned three sequels as well as a second series of games set in the Pacific, Battle Hymn, as well as a two-player version, Shell Shock. Up Front is a man-to-man -man game, but its board was abstracted with the concept of relative range and range chits. The game was driven by cards, with individual soldiers represented by cards laid on a playing surface. Firepower was arguably the most detailed man to man treatment. There were, for example, arrow counters to indicate which side of a tree a soldier might be lying behind. <laughs> <laughs> miniature figurines and miniature scenery manufacturers Junior miniatures Peter Pig Miniature Building Authority Demos Design Studio Battle Stations Brigade Models Combat Wombat Critical Mass Games DLD Productions Eureka Miniatures Force 21 Miniatures GZG Ground Zero Games Highlander Studios Hoff15mm.co.uk Irregular Miniatures Curasan Miniatures Kremlin Miniatures Laserburn 15mm.co. UK LKM Direct QRF Moonfleet Miniatures X Peter Pig Sci-Fi Old Crow Models Pendraken Miniatures Pole Bitwi Rebel Miniatures Splintered Light Miniatures Spriggan Miniatures Stan Johansson Miniatures Team Frog Critter Commandos The Scene Tiny Wargames Topgun Marketing Grav Armor Zombie Smith Aphids O and Quar Topic Computer Games True Man to Man Games on the computer are rare, unless one counts first-person shooters FPS. Most FPS games, such as Medal of Honor or Call of Duty, are not realistic simulations mainly due to the maze-like environment, scripted storyline, and unrealistic casualty assessment. The focus of these games is individual action-adventure rather than simulation in a dynamic tactical environment. More realistic man-to-man -man for the computer are known as tactical shooters, an example is Operation Flashpoint, Cold War Crisis. OFP and its sequels allow the player to give limited tactical commands to an entire squad of men while still engaged in a first-person perspective, and in online play several dozen players could take on individual personas in various small unit missions. Fatal and non-fatal wounds to the player's character were realistically implemented. While storylines were still heavily scripted for solo play, this actually increased the level of realism in the simulation. Third-person man-to-man games have not been successfully translated to the computer in any large numbers. They include third-person shooters and tactical role-playing games. Notable examples of third-person man-to-man games on the computer include Sniper, CompuServe, late 1980s a computer version of the board game, found on CompuServe. Avalon Hill Squad Leader Microprose, 2000, based on Soldiers at War, Jagged Alliance, and XCOM, this was a man-to-man -man game with true fidelity to man-to-man -man board wargaming, being turn-based. It was not well received commercially or critically. Silent Storm Nival Interactive, 2003 Gee Combat Freedom Games, 2002 Eric Young's Squad Assault Matrix Games, 2003, a rework of the unsuccessful Gi Combat by the same developer. Computer Ambush SSI, 1984, the game came with two laminated village maps for players to plot moves on. Each unit was a single soldier. Players would take turns giving their soldiers orders, then the computer would process the moves and display the results to each player before they could enter their next set of orders.